what's up how are you guys doing i have not been on in a few days i haven't been videoing anything pretty much because i've been in excruciating pain so this is a um bunion update on um you know my surgery and what's been going on um the last today is what's today today is tuesday so on last thursday um at night i started getting these sharp shooting pains through my feet um and and then that's the one through actually the big toe where i had my um surgery on and i mean like a bolt of light a bolt of lightning just zipped right through my foot and then um so the next day it just seemed like it was a lot of like tingly going on just a lot of tingles going on but it was they hurt and then like each day it would get worse to the point where i wasn't sleeping at night i wasn't going to sleep at night because it would just happen every so many minutes like t just really sharp spasms shooting through my foot so um i had enough of it finally yesterday i went to the er uh, one of my friends took me to the er when i tell you guys we were in there for seven hours i was so irritated i couldn't believe that they had people in there that long they need to come up with a better system like they really need to have it to where it rotates so that people could just get out, get in, get out. But anyway, that's just my thought, okay, my opinion. But anyways, finally, I was able to get in and see the doctor. Um, they unwrapped my dressing uh, from the day that I had surgery. And um, that was my very first time seeing my foot since surgery. And I was grossed out, like... I know that's not my feet my feet are so swollen and not only that the scar it had like dried up blood on it and dried up um i think is that betadine stuff they clean your foot with i mean it just looked a hot mess i'm gonna insert a picture um in this video so that you guys can see what i'm talking about and don't don't judge me don't talk about my foot okay i hope that one day it'll get back cute because from what I see, it's not so pretty. But anyways, so right now I'm um, finally having a, a moment to really just sit down for about an hour, elevate my foot, um, because I have so many things that I have to do. Um, but I did want to come on and tell you guys um, that experience. So um, from what it sounds like, it seems that as though I have some nerve damage going on. Because when those spasms happen or when those sharp um, pains zip through my foot, it like jerks my leg. Like so it's like I'm just my leg will move on its own because of how strong it is. And um, to me, I think it's kind of like being in labor. Like you have contractions every so many minutes. Well, this pain reminds me of that because it happens like every so many minutes, some stronger than the other. I mean, it's crazy. It's all wow. So if you have bunion surgery or if you're having bunion surgery, uh, I'm not quite sure if this is normal, but um, keep in mind that your nerves can be damaged in some some way or the other. I don't know how, why, but I was reading on the Internet um, because I was trying to figure out what it was. Um, people were saying that the screw in the foot that they use to screw the um, toe back together with may be too tight and it could be pinching a nerve which can cause this. Or just the nerves were damaged while, you know, when the surgery was going on. However, it's not a pleasant um, feeling. So, um... Right now, like I said, I'm just laying here, not doing nothing. Um, I have my foot elevated. Oh, I was eating some popcorn. This is like, if you guys like kettle corn, this is the best. 
Boom chica pop. Boom chica pop. Seventy calories per bag, hundred and forty calories per serving, sweet and salty kettle. Oh, I have my little computer. This is this is my situation and I'm I'm watching some ratchet TV. <laughs> some ratchet TV. But anyways, yeah, so um oh this popcorn is so bomb. If you guys like um kettle corn this one right here is a really good, I love popcorn, but if you like kettle corn, you guys could try this out and you can get it from um, Costco. Um, I can't even tell you how much it costs. I don't even remember. I'm sorry. But if you want to get you some, go to Costco. Delicious. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Oh, I'm excited because our um, barbecue is coming up on... Um, this weekend it'll be this weekend may 27th so i'm excited about that and um i'm preparing for that and also my daughter's graduation cannot believe that little girl is graduating high school that means i'm getting old no that means i'm getting younger i'm getting younger so anyways um that's pretty much it so tomorrow is going to be my first appointment after Mom. surgery. Mom. Yeah. Where's she says she lost them at school. Oh, so, um, sorry about that. So I get to see my doctor and he will do more, um, um, figuring out of what's going on with my foot. The ER, they only do like pretty much the basic. They gave me some. Uh, medicine that calms the um, muscle relaxers and it's the strongest called I in endosin or something like that and then they gave me Percocet for the pain um, even though it helped me a lot the medication it has not taken it all the way away like it's not completely gone but it did make it to where I could be comfortable um, but I still feel the little sharp movement going on um so anyway i'm excited about tomorrow because he's gonna clean my dress my uh, womb he get to tell me about what's going on and he's gonna redo my dressing on my foot so when i went yesterday to the er they didn't wrap it all the way up right and it's like my daughter did it or something or like a little kid so yeah, but anywho, I'm going to give you guys an update on that. I'm going to try to take the camera in so you guys can see um, tomorrow when I go to my appointment. Um, so you guys can see my foot and how it looks and everything. But um, yeah, that's about it. This is what I'm doing. Much of nothing. Um, is there anything else I could tell you guys? Nope. So yeah, this was just a quick update. Um, I know you guys are all interested in looking um, forward to the videos. Um, you know, as far as the updates, those of you who are expecting to have bunion surgery. So this is what I'm experiencing. And this is what, two, two weeks. So it's like two weeks, one day post-op. So this is how I'm feeling then at this point. And that's all I could tell you guys. I don't know what else to say. Well, with that being said, I'm going to um, get off of here. I'm watching my Ratchet TV, so I'm kind of catching up because I'm behind. This is um, Loving Hip Hop Atlanta, so I'm just laying here catching up. All right, guys, as always... Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Those of you who are not subscribed to Life with London, please subscribe to our channel so you can become family members and we can connect. Um, I love you guys. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.